Hi, today we're going to run through setting up a Racepack IQ3 dash to display selected channels from the Haltec CAN bus. We've recently upgraded the Haltec CAN network from 16 to over 70 channels, so it's important to make sure both your Haltec and Racepack software packages are up to date. Check the website for the most current versions of both softwares. The Haltech CAN bus continuously broadcasts over 70 channels from which you can choose any 20 to display and log through your DASH system. Keep in mind the channels you choose to display must be set up in your ECU and the associated sensors need to be fitted to the engine. First, we will open our Haltech Platinum Series ECU software and go online with our Haltech ECU. Next, go to Setup, Main Setup, then Devices on the tabs on the left hand side of the page to ensure that version 2 CAN protocol is selected. If this is set to Legacy or version 1, please change it to version 2 or the dash will not communicate. Next, plug the dash into the 8 pin CAN port using the supplied dash cable, then turn the ignition on. The dash should turn on and display the default configuration as seen here. We will now use the Racepack Datalink 2 software to program the dash. Open the software and go to File, Open Car Configuration. Choose IQ3, then IQ3 non-logger for a display dash or IQ3 metric for a logger dash. For this example, we are using a display dash. Next, choose Scan COM ports from the Settings menu so the laptop can find the dash and USB adapter. Once the laptop has found the dash, click on the Read button on the left hand side of the page. The laptop will then read the current configuration out of the dash and display it on the laptop. Now is a good time to go to File, Save and save a copy of the configuration file. Use the number plate or name of the car for reference. The next step is to choose the 20 channels you would like to display by right clicking on each of the 20 EFI channels and choosing the sensor to display. By changing the sensor field, you will be changing everything in the configuration for that channel, including the name, units, and the minimum and maximum values to display. Once you have chosen the new sensor, press send and the new sensor information will be sent to the dash. Once you have chosen all 20 channels, right click on the IQ3 display and choose where you would like each channel to be displayed on the dash. You can also choose the amount of filtering and the units you would like to be added to each channel. This can make some jittery channels like fuel pressure easier to read. Once you've chosen where you would like each channel to be displayed, click on the Send Configuration button to send the configuration to the dash. Finally, go to File, then Save to save the configuration file to your laptop. That's all we have time for today. As always, thanks for watching and keep the topic suggestions coming. And of course, don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe in the fields below. My name's Scott and we'll see you next time.